Hello Internet! I got this 2080 Ti Hybrid from EVGA that does not seem like anything special worth talking about, other than the way it's built. It would be interesting to see how well this thermal solution works. But first, we need to address the main problem, which according to the owner is artifacts. So let's plug this in somehow and this radiator is getting in the way of the entire process and I absolutely hate it. Okay, so the card does produce a picture and I'm running a memory test which you can already see is not going to pass. Open up the report and it says we have B0 marked as bad. I will verify it with the NVMT. If you look here, the A0 minimum and maximum values are all zeros. And that is because the chip physically does not exist on the board. You will see it once I open it up. Looking at the B0, we can see that there are random minimum and maximum values, and that confirms the initial result. So let's take this card apart and see how does this contraption works. I honestly have no idea. Hopefully once open, no liquid will escape. Okay, the card is open and it is still very uncomfortable to work with. Continuing with the disassembly, reveal that the liquid is not contacting the GPU directly, but rather housed inside this liquid-proof housing. That's comforting. At least I know I don't have to refill anything when I'm done. My first criticism for this card is when I finally get to this bracket that's somehow supposed to cool your memory. Uh, I said somehow because none of the radiators are contacting this bracket. Uh, to provide any meaningful cooling, so that's very bad. And a small surprise is a clear film that was not removed. At this point of time, I'm not entirely sure why or who left it, so I'll just ignore it. Okay, back to the memory. We have A1, A0, B1, B0. Remember, one of the chips does not exist, but we're still taking it into account when we do our count. Looks like a 1GB module from Samsung. I do have a few of those in stock and I want to put it on and see if it helps. Before I do that though, I want to clear out the old paste so it does not harden from excessive heat. Chips replaced, cart cooled down, let's take some measurements in case you need them. Kilo ohms on 12 volt, 7 kilo ohms on 3.3. This is a 12 volt inductor. PEX with 3.5 ohms. 
this here is 1.8 rail, which is roughly two and a half kilo ohms. Another 12 volt here, here, and another 12 volt. This one's a USB-C. This one here is five volt. And this one here is another 12 volt. 16 ohms of memory and this little guy here is also 3.3 volt with the same 7 kilo ohms using my super futuristic amp volt power meter that I hope to reveal to you in all of its shame and glory one day tells me that this car draws around 2 amps doing nothing without any additional cables connected with the cables same thing I will temporarily replace this cooler from a CPU on top of the GPU and run the memory test to confirm the fix. And it looks like we have a pass. Great work guys. Now what could possibly cause this failure? You never know. One possible cause is the shunt power mod. Another was poor memory cooling. Sometimes chips fail on their own. Just because, you know, nothing lasts forever. And with that optimistic note in mind, I will reassemble the card back together, hopefully not missing any of the 40 screws this card came with. How many screws do you need? Oh my goodness. It's ridiculous. Way too many screws. Talk about getting screwed. Here we are. Card had been running for a while now. Uh, no issues other than unusually high temperatures. A more demanding test, like superposition, reveals jerky frame rates. We fixed this problem before with ASUS Strix by replacing a bunch of components. But for this shunt modded card, I don't want to deal with it. The good news is that the owner later told me that the BIOS was switched to the overclock mode, and once he flipped it back to normal, temps dropped down significantly and he is very happy with the way it performs. Which means happy customer? Happy viewer and happy me. Everyone is happy until their GPU breaks. And when it does, be sure to contact me. Maybe I can make you happy again. Bye.